Boom. Right. Okay. And oh, we're live. Oh, we're shit. live. Yeah. We're oh, uh, yeah. We're starting a little early. We're starting a little early. Oh, because all we're doing is just sitting here, just just going, you know, acting like those two little gophers <laughs> from the uh, <laughs> from the Bugs Bunny cartoons. No, after you. No, after you. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking wild! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! So, uh, I, I guess l let's just let let's just start it and I'll all right, bring right. Up. okay, go ahead. <laughs> all right, all right, bye. 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 Jimmy, um, we we just decided. We, we, it's like Nina just said. It's like you know what? We're just sitting here, just going back and forth, staring at each other anyway. <laughs> so, so we might as well just go a little bit early to give uh, people a chance to uh, to check out the campaign and um, and pledge in the the next uh, fifteen minutes because yeah, the, 18, the campaign, right eighteen minutes. The, eighteen the minutes. Folks, come on, let's do this. Ends in eighteen minutes, and we figure we just. Uh, get this moving oh my goodness hello everybody <laughs> uh, welcome everybody in the chat thank you hey mike jimmy who else is there tanner i think i saw uh, really quick um yeah it's like yes and thank you uh yes the five random people who are watching us from regions beyond um thank you for for showing up i know yeah we're starting a little bit early because we want to give everybody uh, a chance to kind of like you know get their bearings and see what's going on uh with there's the usually a three minute delay on notifications too. right yeah so uh, i want to make sure that everybody gets their pledge in because uh your uh name gets added to the wheel today because i'm going to do some uh, special raffles today to kind of uh celebrate the ending of this campaign so uh yeah so i don't want anybody to miss out so you can pledge to a digital level you can pledge to a physical level um you know it doesn't matter i will if you win uh one of these things that i'm going to be offering uh you will uh get it and i'll just contact you if you if you pledge to a digital level i'll just contact you through kickstarter for your address so i can send out uh the your, your prize to Ooh. you if you win um so yeah hello everybody uh my name is daphne lage and i am a cartoonist illustrator and comic book artist from new york i have been self-publishing comics since 1992 and uh, at this rate you will probably never see me at a convention again after this <laughs> right Swear to god um i am known for the furry fantasy uh adventure tall tales uh hold on let me give everybody a uh where is my stuff here am i like uh, awesome yeah. game? Right. No, no, no. It's, I'm the one who can't find anything right now. So, yes, it's like I am known for the furry fantasy adventure Tall Tales and my medieval fantasy adventure soap opera. Well, my fantasy soap opera drama, Eagle Raven, Heir of the First Unicorn, uh, which you can see in all its glory right oh here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, oh, somebody, somebody um, punked out. <laughs> Not now. Somebody punked out on the screen but that's okay look you know it, it's like this campaign is, is doing look no, it was, no, maybe, maybe they're supposed to be being awesome and readjusting you know it's like look it's like look it, no matter what happens at this point this campaign was Please. not supposed to do this okay it, it's like i was not expecting this on any level um uh, but you know what 
In the meantime, you can read both my comics online at Tall Tales, T A I L S online.com and egoworks.com, E G O W O R K S. Uh, and you can also check out all of my videos on how I make my comics here on YouTube at my channel at Daphne Lage, L A G E R, which also simulcasts through the uh, Indie Comics uh, Network. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified uh, whenever any of our shows uh, go live, especially when we decide to go a little bit early you know <laughs> right now uh so yeah so i'm gonna pass you off to the pimp in charge yeah well Tell everybody who you are uh, my name is nita landing i'm ceo of rage into promotions uh the parent company that brings you the indie comics network on youtube and indie comics promotions on facebook yeah that's about it and right. I'm, just, I'm just a cheerleader, Daphne. I'm just right. a cheerleader. Look, yeah, look, 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 look. You were doing, yeah, you were oh. telling me that you were doing some nice stuff and making some promises that maybe you shouldn't have. But yeah, I was you know, dumb. You know, dumb. well, you know, <laughs> you know, but hey, you know. Um, hey, Pop. Yeah. So, so do you want to, uh, I mean, I don't know. Do you want to hold yourself to your, to your, uh, Oh yeah. I'm all about keeping my word. I'm all about your, keeping my uh, word. Drunk. I said, well, not drunk. You were high as just fuck. High as fuck. High as fuck. And sharing shit in the middle of the night. I said, if you cleared 8K, I'd fucking eat this bitch for at least five minutes. If you cleared 8.5, I would try to finish the fucker. Oh. Uh. I, you, you I didn't won't finish it. That. I'm, you didn't say that I'm, I'm not Meredith where I push you to hurt yourself sometimes. Because <laughs> 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 you, know, you know what? I wouldn't do that. I'm you pumped, know? Daphne. No, no, I, I'm all about some pain sometimes. You know, okay. <laughs> So I don't know if we're gonna do I don't know if we're gonna do a special show or whether we're going yeah, I'm not to sure how this works. Yeah, but you know, Ooh. whatever. We'll 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 worry about that later. So um so yeah, so here we are at the uh, last uh, 15 minutes of the campaign. Um I just uh, <laughs> Um, I just want to thank everybody who uh, has pledged and supported and helped spread the word, even if you couldn't, you know, like financially support the campaign or whatnot. You know, it's like um, just every little bit helped. And holy crap, I was not expecting it to be like this. It's like I, I was I know I was saying for the longest time, you know, it's a trade paperback. I wasn't expecting it to uh you know, to do this well, I thought that I maybe at best I had like a $3,000 campaign and that was it, you know, because trade paperbacks, you know, everybody else has been collecting the individual issues. The trades is like a different audience. Um, this one surpassed. Even the birds are fucking tripping on Yeah, me. I know, really. They're, they're, they're especially uh, noisy today. Well, also for the fact is, is that, you know, it's finally... Uh, what was it yesterday yesterday no the day before yesterday was kind of was the first day of uh fall ah and uh you know finally the the temperature in the office is kind of you know at normal levels uh but uh oh hey sam, hey, sam. Um, but uh, i'm still a little bit in denial you know it's like it's i i'm i'm not giving up my shorts yet <laughs> You know, although I do have a sweater on, <laughs> you know, so, um, so yeah, it's going to probably going to take me a bit, you know, to, uh, to finally realize it's like, oh, it's actually cold in here. So of course the, the birds are acting up because we're not sitting here sweating. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, yeah, I, I was not expecting the trade to, to do, uh, this well. Oh, by the way, uh, so Sam, I, I congratulations to Sam. I think he got a project we love on Kickstarter. Congratulations. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I saw, right? You got a project. Yeah, oh yeah, love? it's there. It's there. It's big as you please. Congratulations, Sam. It's like I told you, the hustle is real. The grind is real. It may be a little slow, but it's worth it. You know, it's like it, it really and is worth it in the end. It's tedious sometimes. Huh? It's tedious sometimes. Right. It really is. It really is. So uh, I just want to congratulate Sam. There's an alien in my toilet finally getting, you know, Project We Love on its third issue. See, I, there's that, you know, there's the second issue slump. And then there's that, that climb that happens afterwards. So... You know, congratulations to Sam. Everybody, check out his campaign. <laughs> you know, because there's, you know, because this one's gonna about to be finished. Now, there you go. Yes, <laughs> you you don't have to be the gun that shoots jelly anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
you know um but yeah so but, so that was the thing you know it's like i wasn't expecting a trade paperback uh to do this well um so yeah like i i just thought maybe i was just gonna have to keep grinding on the individual issues but um boy did you guys are were all of you determined to prove me wrong on this one you know first with funding within 45 minutes while we were on the air during the uh the live stream the opening show and uh second by reaching this number that i can barely say out loud now number which which uh i you know which I, I i can't believe i'm looking at um i mean and what's really freaky to think about that had i have taken my laptop on my vacation and posted normally this might have been a 10k campaign yeah you yeah, there was. You know, I'm not going to say I regretted going on vacation. Everybody no, needs a vacation. That. Everybody needs a vacation. No, screw that. I, you know, I was like, I don't regret the vacation at all. But had I have thought of taking my laptop with me to post normally, um, yeah, we might have been at 10k, close to 10k, right? I mean, technically, we're close to 10k. I mean, we're not going to make it in that in in the next 15 minutes, but. Um, yeah, it you know, so just it it's just, you know I'm I'm like this. I'm I'm uh <clears throat> I'm I, I'm a little verklempt at it, you know. Um I wish Meredith was here to see it. Me too. You know? Um I needed my aspirin mic. God. Yeah, I know, really. Um <laughs> You know, but uh, but here we are, you know, it's like, look, you know, it's like what it was uh, January 2021 when I put out the first issue, you know, not expecting, not knowing what to expect um, from this, you know, and, and it's like, you know, and I, and I did pretty modestly, you know, um, I, I, you know, with uh, with the books, like, I don't know if I were to, let's see, oh, let me, let me check this. Uh, if I were to go to my list here. So yeah, when I, uh, when I put out issue one, um, I, it was $2,085 at 133 backers, you know, issue one that, you know, it's like t uh, January, 2021, you know, and here we are, you know, where are we? September, 2022, the first, you know, trade paperback, and here we are staring just a little under $50 away from eight, five, Jeez. you know, so that's, uh, that's, that's pretty, uh, crazy. Uh, it's like, I, I was not expecting this. <laughs> I really wasn't. I really wasn't. I mean, it's like, look, it was just, you know, you know, things had shut down, you know, uh, it's like, I had found myself with all this extra time. And um, I, I just thought, you know what? Let me take this comic that I've been just been fucking around with on my website and let me just put it together. Let me color it up. Let me change some things. Let me redo the, you know, let me redo the lettering. Let me switch up some dialogue or whatnot. And let me put it out and finally, you know, do something serious with it. And, you know... I, I know I always say the thing about like, I always produce books for an audience of one, you know, like, like this, you know, it's like that I did this book, especially Eager Raven. I, I did this for myself, you know, to entertain myself, but it's a lot more fun when I, I can share it with everybody, you know, and, and it's a lot more fun to see how many people are in, is enjoying this journey with me. Um, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just uh, a little, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of freaky. It's uh, surprising. Um, uh, like I said, I can't thank everybody enough and, um, and, and yeah, and, and you assholes are going to make me cry. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, this, this, uh, this campaign, especially, um, you know, if we want to you know, take it a little bit more seriously, um, um, we, 
we threw a lot of things at this campaign because we didn't know <laughs> what to expect. Um, we experimented a lot with, you know, slightly adjusting our marketing and doing a couple of different things. And, um, uh, the thing is that we've done so many things at the same time that I couldn't tell you, um, what was the one thing that did it, you know, uh, oh, <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't tell you like, uh, you know, if you're watching this and you're wondering, it's like, oh, I have a trade paperback coming out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you see that that's what you need. Not a toe of Satan. <laughs> I'm going to do both lage. You know, good, great. Well, well, actually that, that, that's a lot to the people's. Well, you know, yeah. If you, if you made promises to people, it's totally fair that we kind of, we accommodate them, but you know, it's like, mm. you know, uh, but yeah, but it's like, if you have a trade paperback coming out and, and you're kind of wondering, it's like, oh, you know, it's like, are people going to react to a trade or whatnot? And, you know, if you're a little concerned, um, I mean, the only, th the only real advice that I could give you is you just try everything. You know, throw Do it all at your campaign, you know, uh, except maybe a toe of Satan. I don't really recommend. No, it fucking do that too. Promise a toe of Satan to people. Do um, it. Now, look at that. We have three minutes. We have three minutes left. Um, so like I said, pledge, if you pledge to the campaign, whether a physical or um, digital level, I'm going to add your name to a raffle. Um, I have three little, I, I have three little special prizes here that I'm going to be uh, raffling off. And uh, yeah, and if you pledge the campaign, your name will be added. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, you might be able to uh, get something special added to your pledge, uh, you know, just just by supporting the trade paperback. Like, oh. Jesus Christ. Um, you yeah, know, I'll, my makeup lage. I, well, I, <laughs> and, you know, oh, my goodness. So uh, so, yeah, so we just pretty much threw everything at it uh the like i said the one thing that i think really really was noticeable was the fact that you know for one week while well for five days while we were on vacation i wasn't able to post normally to all the facebook groups um usually it's like you know i have all these groups that i post to and whatnot like i only do it once a day you know it's like it's not you know it's like probably it's it's about like a half hour's worth of work, um, you know, depending on how kind of like how, how much thinking I put into the post. I usually work with templates or whatnot. Um, and I just post, you know, post to all these groups on Facebook, post to Twitter, post to Instagram. And then that's all pretty much all the posting I do uh, for the day, me personally. And then I know that Nita does some ancillary posting throughout the day as well to different groups and, and whatnot. So um, I, I had that support as well. Uh, but in the end, it's like, you know, I was doing kind of like this bulk uh, posting on my own and being gone for the five days, I wasn't expecting it to make the difference that it did. Um, but you know what? It, like, it, it showed me how important it was to do that. And a hundred seconds to go. Oh, oh Jesus me. Christ. You know, it's like, uh, well, but at least, oh, 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 at least, oh, um, God damn, come on, you know, at least oh, oh. Um, you won't, maybe you won't have to eat the whole thing, which I honestly, I, I don't, I know you promised the people, but you know, I think for your safety, um, I oh. would, uh, recommend not I doing that. I would, I would, I would, I would discourage, I would discourage, um, eating an entire toe of Satan. Uh, you know, let's, you know, we can, we can use that. Let's say, let's take five figures and make it worth it. You know, <laughs> Let, let's, let's wait for that. You know, so here we go. Uh, we're in the last minute of the campaign. Uh, we're, we're at, at eight, four, six, eight. I can't even say the number properly, you know, so here we go. Oh my gosh. You know, crazy. This is, yeah, I was not expecting it. Um, to, to be here. I, I honestly, I, I really wasn't, I, I don't know how many times I can repeat that. So um, here we are 30 seconds away from ending the campaign. What 
a crazy 32 days this has been. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. You know, you know, okay. Everybody's in. Everybody's in. You know, the final call, last call, last call on the campaign. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year. Oh, <laughs> There we go. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Eager Raven, Air of the First Unicorn, Volume One, The Trade, and the Prequel. 144 backers, $8,468. Um, dudes, really, really, really. Um, Look, I, I can't thank you guys enough. Really, everybody, every single one of you. Like I said, even if you couldn't uh, or you couldn't uh, financially support the campaign, I know you guys were spreading the word and sharing the posts and and all this. And you know, everybody that I shared links with, um, you know, projects that we were trading. You know, we, we were trading links on our mailing lists and whatnot. And I want to, yeah, and, and everybody on my mailing list and everything. It's like I just want to thank everybody for for proving me wrong. For thank you for proving me wrong. You know, I, I mean, like I said, I wasn't expecting much from this campaign because it was a trade paperback, and you were all determined to prove me wrong. And you know what? I I can't be happier. You know to say you were right. <laughs> just just couldn't be happier. Oh wow. my goodness. Oh my goodness. So so okay, so we're going to we'll, we'll do let, let let me give myself a couple of minutes to to put myself together here. Oh, you want to fall apart first? Uh, what I do you mean? A, I have a memory in Facebook. Oh no. I do, and it's congratulations to Daphne Lazer on getting a project we love. It was Meredith Lockburn, and we were making the video for Ego Raven 3. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. You know, I mean, <sighs> yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh. You know, I mean, they, uh, wow. hold on. <laughs> I mean, this, um, this was the last book that Meredith was reading. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I, I wish, yeah, I, I wish that she was here to see how, um, how it all, how it's all coming together. Right. <clears throat> uh, look, look, what you, look what you, look what you all did to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mm. I mean, so um so yeah. <clears throat> so um I, I don't know. I don't know, Nita. Um give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. That was uh that was amazing. Yeah, hold on for a choke. Oh, we, this is insane. Okay, look, we're going to throw a couple of bumps real quick because uh, I think we both need a second.
sorcerer of our time. He lives in New York City, and he happens to be a mouse, and he has serious evil goblin problems. In this four-issue epic adventure, Oswald finds himself rescuing a traveling warrior gnome, Dauphin, who seeks revenge on an evil goblin who murdered his family. A goblin that now lives with one of Oswald's neighbors, a giant spider. What will Oswald and his newfound friend, Dauphin, do? Find out in the pages of It Broke Free and Couldn't Read, now on Kickstarter. Okay, okay, I think, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, so um, I didn't get a chance to show anybody because the, the proofs ended up coming um, the next day, but I just want to show everybody what the, the final sticker, I don't know, did I show this already? I think I showed it to you, but... So this is the AK um, sticker, you know, the, the secret stretch goal that I, that I dropped at the last minute uh, that everyone's going to be getting uh, in their uh, physical rewards. So, I, I mean, look at how shiny that is. I, I mean, you, you really don't get a sense of it, you know, even on oh my camera. God. They're awesome. Yeah, they're no, so they're, awesome. They're really good. So, I mean, they came out a lot better than, than I expected, you know. So, uh, so there we go. So, congratulations, everybody. Uh, not only do you get the metal bookmark, uh, but we're all going to be getting you're, you're all, all the be getting shit. All the, yeah, all the ho shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> So, yeah, um, you know, so, yeah, so I was just really happy, you know, I mean, because, look, it, it got dicey for a little bit, you know, I thought that maybe, you know, I was ready to accept the fact that maybe we weren't going to unlock the uh, the metal bookmark, you know, maybe I was asking, maybe I was pushing my luck a little bit, um, but, you know, at the same time, at the same time, I was telling JD, it's like, you know what, it's like, it doesn't seem to matter whatever my secret goal is, you know, that it's either going to fall $20 short or I'm going to get like some really, really obnoxious number. Like $3 like, over. Yeah, like, like, like 8,003. <laughs> you know? But again, like I said, thanks for, um, you know, <laughs> thanks for giving me a little edge there, a little buffer. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah. Um, so, you know, um, so yeah, so I guess like, you know what, why don't, why don't we do the, the raffle while we're at it? So, so I have my, uh, my, uh, thing here. Hold on. Let me just, uh, redo my share screen. Uh, well, well, first let me show everybody what we're going to be getting. So, so I decided what better way to end the trade paperback campaign than to raffle off. Now you, you guys, all you guys, everybody knows how I love getting my proofs in advance, right? Oh yeah. So, and you all know that I have the proofs for issue five, which is the next campaign, which is coming in, um, uh, October, uh, no, uh, November. What am I talking about? <laughs> October. Whoa, Daphne. Yeah, Whoa. Let, let's, you know, oh, let's slow it down a bit. So, uh, yeah, so actually, so here we go. Here's, um, so yeah, so, uh, uh let me see. <laughs> I didn't, okay, there we go. Wow. So, um, yeah, so Eagle Raven, uh, issue five, uh, launches November 7th, 2022 on Kickstarter check out this graphic by Jaden Lanning. I swear to God, every time I ask this girl to do a piece for me, it's mm -hmm. like she just blows it out of the water. So um, this image is going to be a special postcard on the campaign that you'll be able to get. But yes, so here we are already talking about uh, issue five. Um, okay, so let me, let me put this back here. So November 7th, 
you know, keep the date. And as, uh, you know, and, and I guess as to celebrate how well the trade paperback <clears throat> did, um, I'm going to raffle off. So three lucky people who pledged to the campaign, they are going to get the proof version, the proofs of issue five. I have to keep reminding me it's issue five uh, before the campaign even starts. So Ooh. you're going to be able, three people are going to be able to read issue five before everybody else does when the campaign launches. I mean, it's like, yeah. So it's like everyone else is probably not going to get this book until, until maybe, you know, late December, early January. Um, cause of course now I have to start thinking about how the holidays are going to affect everything. Uh, so yeah, so three of you are going to have these added to your pledges. So here is, uh, the main issue, the main cover of issue five. So let me see how many people. So let me just re redo this, uh, share screen. <clears throat> Okay, so here is okay, so here is our our wheel <laughs> still set up from the last time. Um, all right, so how many people? One hundred and forty-four. One hundred and forty-four. So I'm going to go and watch. Ahead. It's going to be Jose. Okay. Yes. You see it now. This is the thing. There <laughs> are. I am not. There's certain people. There's certain numbers. I'm not going to count because either one, they're Jose GD. Or um, they've won. They they've won a prize on the launch party because I, right. I we gave away the nude covers uh, for the launch party. So uh, the, there are certain numbers that are not going to count. If we hit those numbers, I'm going to do it again. Plus, there's always the creative fund. Uh, I think they're a backer kit bot that always right. pledges a dollar. So of course, for obvious reasons, the bot doesn't count either. So this is going to be for the regular cover edition of uh, issue five. Because again, I got to keep checking. So <laughs> let's, uh, all right. So let me get my post here so I can write down the, the winner when we get to it. Let me get my backers. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, here's my backer report on my end. Okay, hold on. All right, there we go. All righty. So this is for the regular edition of issue five. Okay, let me get my number. And here we go. All right, 108. At least I know for sure 108 was not from the previous the previous raffles. So let's see who is 108. Oh, 108. Uh, congratulations to Vince Bayless. You win. You are going to be one of the first people to read issue five. Nice. So there we go. Congratulations to 108. Um, you're you're uh, you're you're special now. <laughs> you're special now. <laughs> so, like I said, I have three of these issues, but to kind of spice it up a bit. All right, right so then. let me just remove 108 from. Uh... Wow. Yeah, I know. Okay, so it's 108. Hold on. It, I can barely meet, read my handwriting now. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. 108. All right. So now you know how variant covers really, really worked out well on this campaign. So, of course, we're going to continue the tradition on the next, uh, on, on issue five with a variant cover. And, of course, who else better to do? To have, do the variant cover, but Jaden Lanning herself. So here <laughs> is the variant. So, so now this is the raffle for the variant cover for issue five. And remember, um, all the variant covers, they're going to be, they're exclusive to the campaign. 
um it they are uh, they're only going to be printed to order so uh so yeah so this is you know so you whoever wins this will be able to get the special uh variant cover before anybody else for issue five so let's do that so this is for the regular well the the regular version of the variant <laughs> exclusive <laughs> variant let's spin the wheel oh 119 who's 119 let's see scott hodgson Congratulations, you win the Jaden uh, variant of uh, Eager Raven issue five. Uh, that's going to be added to your pledge. Thank you so much for supporting the campaign. Uh, thank you so much. So you're going to get that. Um, let me make sure I put this in the right place. Okay, there we go. So one more, one more. So let's uh, remove that choice. So one more, one more on the wheel. This one, again, we're doing the, the Jaden Lanning variant, but this is the Virgin cover that, uh, that we're raffling off. So here it is. Um, this is what the full cover looks like without the trade dress, without the logo or anything on it. You just get to enjoy the artwork. Um, by itself. So this, so wow. now the raffle is going to be for issue five, the Jaden Lanning variant, uh, variant cover. So here we go. And the winner is one thirty-seven. Who's one thirty-seven? Oh, Alan Alberti, um, you are going to be uh, getting nice. this. Even it's like so. I I see here that um, that you got the uh, PDF, but like I said, um, I will be contacting you uh, for uh, to uh, you know contacting you for your address on Kickstarter so that uh, you will get <laughs> you will get your prize. Uh, ship to you. So this is for the Virgin 137. So there we go. There's so there's our winners, our three winners for the issue five, issue five uh, uh, issues, I guess, and the variants. So you three will be the first people to read uh, these. Uh, <coughs> these uh these comics before everyone else does so congratulations um on god jaden um, covers look great oh, they really do they really do it's like uh you know what i'm gonna hold on to this girl as as much as i can <laughs> oh man oh my goodness and i swear i think she got better yeah. Oh, leaps and bounds. I I mean, you know, she even had a JD going, whoa, <laughs> holy moly, you know? So, uh, so, so what else is there? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I just, was just all night. It was just watch, 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 watch. All right. I mean, yeah, like I said, for, for those of you who've been watching the campaign, trying to see what, you know, what we were doing, you know, to, to really to push the campaign or whatnot. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, we've done so many things um, at the same time that it's really hard to say, like, what actually worked. Um, like I said, the one thing that was a definite, though, is that you really do need to post every Regularly. day yeah you have to post yeah it, it's like um and not just to your page but you really do need to find groups that um, are supportive of promotional posts and you really got to i'm not necessarily saying you have to hammer them but you do have to be consistent um right. Like I said, we were gone for five days and I was just really, really surprised to come home and notice the difference 
um, going back into the routine of posting was making. Um, it, I mean, cause it's like, you know, my, my, in that five days, the campaign kind of stagnated a bit, but the second I got home and started posting again, the numbers started climbing. So I was just like, oh, okay. You know, it's like, now I know for sure this works. So yeah, so that's, that's the thing. Um, be consistent with your posting. Uh, that's for sure. That, uh, that, uh, really helps. Um, another thing that uh, I was making sure to do, this is more like a continuation of what I had started on the previous campaigns, find other creators to trade links with. There's always Kickstarters. Always. Everyone's running a Kickstarter. And there's always people who, who have similar types of campaigns. And you, you know what? And even if they don't, you know, it's like because it's like, you know, not everybody only sticks with one genre of something. You know, so, you know, it's like trade links. It's like there, there's a lot of people that I traded links with, um, you know, I was putting them in my newsletters uh, and and yeah. And it's like and that was really helping a lot, too, um, you know, because it's like, look, no, no man is an island. Right. It's like, you mm -hmm. know, we're, you know, it's like as, as much as some people like to say oh, we're all in competition with each other. It's like, it really? No, that, that's not really the case. You know, it's like, look, there's so many people with so many interests. And all it is, is that it's just getting them to see your work, right. you know? And it's like, if they like your stuff, they're going to get your stuff, you know? So, um, yeah, so I was trading links uh, with other creators who are running campaigns um, at the same time. So that really helped, too. Um I think the stranger, if there was um, some odd things that I was kind of resisting in the beginning, uh, that now it's like I'm I'm a complete, I'm going to be a complete whore about. Um, <laughs> there was there was this whole thing in the beginning about doing kind of doing the postcards and trying to get of the campaign to have a more aesthetic look, even though I was a little concerned in the beginning that it's like, well, you know, even though these images are canon, they're not about this issue and blah, blah, blah. And all I can say is everybody get over yourselves. If you can make your campaign aesthetic for the algorithm, do it. Yep. You know, it doesn't matter if the artwork has, has like, is only tangentially related. Like I think the are all the artwork that I used are, is tangentially related to the story, not specific to the trade, not specific to any of the issues, but they're related. So sure in the it end, is for characters. Right. So it's like, so in the end, it's like um I felt that whatever it got, whatever bait I had to use to bring in people to the campaign, that's what I was going to do. If I had to try to use a little bit more saucy images, um, I was going to do it. And, and the thing is, though, is that I was really hesitant at first, but I did notice a difference. I did notice um, that there was more enthusiasm for the campaign, that there was more engagement with the campaign when I used the more aesthetic images. Um, so, you know, like, like, I mean, honestly, it just got to a point where I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm, I'm just going to do it. Like, like with the, the nude bookmark, um, you know, it's like, whatever. Like, I think on a previous campaign, I wouldn't have dared have done something like this. It's but so now hard. it's just like, you know what? <laughs> Screw it. Screw it. This is, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, I'm, I'm going to be like that character from Dust Till Dawn, the, uh, the, you know, the Barker uh, at, on the steps of the Titty Twister. Sometimes it feels like I'm going to be like that. But you know what? Um, I really do think this helped. I really do think that this sticker was, um, you know, it, it's like, uh, you know, <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. Right. Um, you know, that this sticker really, really helped the campaign get to 8K. Uh, I think that it's just, it, it's just funny enough 
And you know what? Yeah. And it's, and it's really nice, you know, and it's like, so on a previous campaign, you know, I probably wouldn't have done it, but now it's like, you know what? I'm throwing, I'm throwing it on the wall, especially if it's something that I personally like, right. you know, that in the end that I personally like. Um, so what else worked for this campaign? Um, I think that the sketch bookmarks worked for the campaign. They were, they were kind of an unusual thing to have here, to have literally usable artwork that you can use as a bookmark for a trade paperback. So I'm definitely going to use that again for the next trade paperback. Um, but the big thing that, um, that I did for this campaign. Uh, yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, the big thing that I use for this campaign is is trying to figure out how to use variant covers uh, for a trade. A trade itself is too expensive to change covers on. You right. know, so that wasn't possible. But I know that people collect them. I know that they did give uh, having a variant cover did uh, give this campaign an edge. So. Um, yeah, so all I did was I did uh, the special variant covers, which were reprintings of issue one with a different cover. I mean, in the end, people collect the variant covers to slab anyway, so might as well reprint issue one with the new covers. So we have the Matthew Lunsford X Men variant that uh, that that we had that was on thing along with the nude cover, um, which again was just something that I experimented with in the past, but I really committed to on this campaign, and the numbers prove it. Um, I know now. Now here's the thing, though: it's not that I recommend everybody do a nude cover. You know, I mean, it's like, look, if, I if, you're not, if you're not comfortable with it or if you're, you know, you feel you, your book is not exactly appropriate for it. I mean, mm -hmm. Sam is not going to do a nude cover. No, <laughs> that would be weird. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Don't yeah, do it. Exactly. I take it back. I not take it back. everybody. However, however, a good alternative is the um, the homage covers that set that really seems to be all the rage now. You take, you know, you take those iconic covers, you know, your Spawn 300s, your, you know, whatever, you know, your Dark Knight Returns cover, you know, whatever, whatever these covers, like, I, I, you know, I had the, the X-Men, uh, was it? One cover. Cover. Yeah, know. exactly. You know, really, really aesthetic covers. Um, you know, there are alternatives for those of you who don't want to get too sexy with the covers. Um, well, oh, that's true. Yes, it is. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's like they're, they're definitely, but I do really recommend, uh, variant covers, uh, for a campaign. Now, mind you, don't go overboard with them. Don't be the campaign that runs 37. 25, 37, 42. Yeah, exactly. Period. You're not Brian Polito. You're not making that type of money where you can pay that many people. Because look, if you have all those variant covers and okay, you make 20 grand, but once you figure out all the math and you're still coming home with $2,000, you're not ahead. That's for no. sure. You know, I mean, it's like, no, if you're, you don't, what you want to do is you, you want to make sure that your output actually makes you more money. Right. You know, not, not as, you know, it's not like you're making 10 grand on a campaign, but you spent six on variant covers. You know, you don't want to do that. So and now you got to ship and all right, that. Exactly. So you know, you don't want to make the same money uh, with your expenditure. The whole point is that you got to spend money to make money. And that's what you want to focus on. So, you know, experiment with variant covers. If you can do them yourself, I highly recommend it. That's what I'm doing. But if you have to pay out, um, just be kind of very strategic as to what kind of artwork you're getting uh for your variant covers um so yeah so speaking of uh, variant covers so of course this is something that i'm going to be continuing with the issue five campaign so i've already uh 
put together my little collection of exclusive uh, variant covers, which everyone has already seen uh, the Jaden Lanning variant cover. Uh, this, yeah, so these are all going to be exclusive to the next campaign, to the issue five campaign. Um, this is going to be issue five with a variant cover, uh, not a reprint of issue one. So, um, oh my gosh. So yeah. She put sparkles on the petals on the floor. Yeah, no, Holy beautiful. Crap. It's beautiful. It's like when I told, when, when I said that I wanted, you know, aesthetic, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if you could do a very, very aesthetic, you know, I was going for this really romance manga look, you know, for, for everything. So that's the aesthetic that I ran with. And Wait. yeah, right. Oh, for real, for real. Wait you know so um so yeah so like i said um uh, that's one type of variant that you can do for your campaign pick an aesthetic a very pretty aesthetic you know or, or something you know uh something that, that reminds people of manga you know um that that kind of helps um so and like i said the next uh the, the next type of variant cover uh that that is popular now is the homage covers. So I'm going to show, so this is what I'm going to be doing for the next campaign. So this is, uh, for mm -hmm. those of you who don't recognize it, this was the cover that I did for Glenn Fleming's uh, Comics Unlimited um, magazine. It's a um, Jack Kirby homage based on Thor. I think it's 171. Um, uh, you know, so yeah, so it's like, so here is going to be the homage cover that's going to be uh, available uh, on the next campaign. And like I said, it's going to be an exclusive, you know, printed only to order. So, oh, I mean, I, I just realized it's like here you're getting, you know, so here you're getting kind of like an exclusive update as to what to expect on the next campaign. You know, people's credit cards are not even cooled off yet. And I'm it's already, all right. it's all good. I'm, I'm already <laughs> showing you what, what's going to happen on the next campaign. So, like I said, there's the the homage covers that you can do, you know, just to do something different, to play around with the layouts and whatnot, and, you know, just, just offer it up as something different. Because, like I said, people usually collect these to slab them, and, you know, so they look nice and whatnot, and a lot of people like the nostalgia factor of this. So, this is uh, the Thor Jack Kirby homage cover that I'm going to be offering on the next campaign. Now, for those of you who are able to go a little bit further on Do your it. covers um i i of course am gonna i have decided at the last minute i it's like i wasn't sure whether i wanted to do a, a nude cover because like i said it did do very well but the thing is though i don't want to bore people with you know nude covers because it is possible to do that so i wanted to try something a little bit different and this one uh, this one really kind of like i had to kind of go well like I said, it's tangentially related to the story, um, has nothing to do with issue five, but I'd like to think of this as kind of a reward for everybody who follows me on Facebook and will understand what oh. the cover is. So it's not a nude cover, but has nothing to do with issue it's five. It's a button, Daphne. But the 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 next variant exclusive cover for the issue five campaign because you can't have a Thor without a Loki. Holy <laughs> shit! Yes, take that, Jose. So oh, this, right? right. <laughs> Either one. So <laughs> this is going to be, I guess, what the naughty cover uh, version uh, variant on the issue five campaign. It's Werewolf Loki and Eager Raven. You know, uh, the title of the piece is The Wolf and the Unicorn. And yeah, it's like, we'll you know what? ASW variant, variant. Right, there you Almost go. Almost safe for work. <laughs> Almost safe for work marriage. Um, so yeah, so uh, I figured, you know what? I did this piece the, the other day. I was sketching this out on a lark. And I go, you know what? Do variant covers really need to have anything to do with the actual issue it's on? And everybody was telling me, no. <laughs> so 
go. So here we are, you know, so here you're getting first peek at all the variant covers, at the new variant covers that will be available on the Issue 5 campaign coming in November. Um, so yeah, so you're going to have three choices of variant covers, depending on what kind of cheeky monkey you are. So you're going to have the Jaden Lanning um, romantic anime um, you know, ver version. You're going to get the Jack Kirby a Thor homage cover, and you're going to get the, oh, Daphne's horny again cover. <laughs> you know, don't, you know, don't draw and be horny at the same time. Actually, yes, you can do that. <laughs> you know, so this is so, so that cover is for all my Facebook peeps who know, understand what's going on here. This is all for you. Um, so yeah, so I thought uh, everybody would get a kick out of seeing what's coming up next. And like I said, the next campaign launches November 7th, only on Kickstarter. And I swear to God, at the rate things are going, uh, you'll probably never see me at a comic book convention ever again. <laughs> I swear to God. Um, you know, so here we are almost at uh, the top of the hour. We started early just to kind of get the last minute stuff done with the uh, with the campaign. And uh, yeah, so uh, so again, um, I just want to thank everybody who supported the uh, volume one campaign. Uh, trade paperback. Like I said, I wasn't expecting it to go this far, but you know what? Please continue proving me wrong. That's, uh, you know, that's uh, all I can uh, really say about that. Um, I am currently, you know, working on issues six, seven, and eight, um, trying to get at least all the inks done to everything uh, before the end of the year. So I can get everything flatted and colored. You know, maybe I'm not going to start off the year. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Quick link dump. Everybody go see uh, the links in the chat. Um, <clears throat> you know, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, because in the end, yeah, right. You know, um, you know, so everybody check out the, the chat for uh, some uh, additional links to some other great campaigns that are coming up. Mike Jimmy is about to put out a volume one of Korra, um, collecting, I think it's like the first five stories uh, in, in one volume. Um, so I'm looking forward to that so I can get a nice big book, you know, of all that. So, and also, as always, there are other uh, campaigns going on. Now it's all about, you know, me and Nita pushing Oswald. Over, and I'm doing it right over, now. Over, you know, so, uh, yeah. So all the links are going to be in the show notes below as well. Um, there was something else I had wanted to say, too. I, I mean, but I don't know. It's like my my head is is kind of like now it's going to be all about the that kind of like deflation that after um, that after campaign deflation that happens where what? I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh okay. Um, where it's like, I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the weekend face down. <laughs> you know? Um, and well, actually, no, there's always, it's like, yeah. So I'm currently working on, like I said, on six, seven, and eight. Six is finished inking. I I'm completed inking and flatting with that. Um, I'm trying to get, uh, I have my list for all the stuff that I'm trying to get done before the end of September, because October 1st, I want to get to inking issue seven so I can get that to the flatters so that by around December, I can start really working and inking, uh, issue eight. So my goal initially was to try to have everything done so I can get volume two proofed by around January. Don't think that's going to happen, but as long as I'm ahead of the game, I'm good. So I'm not, I'm going, I made it a point to not stress myself out <laughs> the way I did at the beginning of the year. Um, I don't want any more panic attacks over my schedule. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm ahead. That's all I need to, that's all I need to be. And all the campaigns so far are on schedule and that's the important part. So, 
Um, yes, and for those of you who are also wondering, we have two Tall Tales campaigns coming up for next year as well. Uh, we have Tall Tales, The Peacekeepers, which I am currently revamping the cover and putting that file together so we can get that out. Um, so this is the previous version of the trade paperback, which is kind of like manga sized. Um, I'm remastering this so that it'll be comic book size and mm. match the previous books uh, that we've been putting out so far. So that's the next campaign after issue five. If you're looking for tall tales, that's coming up at the beginning of next year. I'm also uh, just finishing up doing the cover uh, for the other Tall Tales books, uh, Tall Tales or So I Thought, which is the Gabrielle one-shot. Um, I have the cover at the Flatters right now. I finished re-inking that. So that's also on the docket for next year as well. So uh, if you're looking for more Tall Tales, that's coming up uh, next year as well. So, um, yeah. So uh, on that note... We're hitting the top, but we're literally at uh, hitting uh, noon on, oh, are we? Uh, no, no, no. We're five minutes away from noon. You see us starting five minutes early uh, made me off, uh, of it. Yeah, off of it. So, hey, but that's okay, because look, we can talk about something real quick. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yes. House of Bob tomorrow. Look at that. I had to be reminded. House of Bob tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're going to have our monthly adults only live stream with guest John Celestri, uh, our first guest on the show, where we will be talking about his book, Bloodwing Angel. And uh, the overall topic of the episode is why we have as a society so much problems talking about adult material in an adult way. Um, it's like, it's kind of like you bring up adult material or even just mature material and people either turn into 12 year olds or they turn into complete prudes. So we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. I'm going to be working on some, uh, some more pinups for, uh, for the house of Bob, uh, uh, trade that uh, that that's also in the works as well, and you guys wonder why <laughs> I'm tired all the time. Um, so yeah, actually, is there any more last minute housekeeping? Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I want to remind right. everybody that we have a brand new coupon code. It is uh, Region Ten. So if you decide to do that nude cover, ship it in style with a Gemini mailer. That's coupon code Region Ten for ten percent off of your next Gemini mailer supplies. Very anything, exciting. Anything. Not just the mailers, it covers anything on site. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, because that. I think I think they also sell like backing boards and stuff too. Oh, now. Speaking of, we'll be uh dealing with Brian from Gemini Miller pretty soon. He's oh. gonna be offering us a special promotion on some new bags and boards they're receiving. Ooh. So that's gonna be fun. So stay tuned for that. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, bags mm -hmm. and boards are getting like like they're getting like super expensive now. I had to like kind of I had to like hoard a stash for myself just because like, damn, you know, it's like I'm paying double the price now than when I was then last year. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to what Gemini is doing with that. Um, anything? Yeah. So it's like there we go. So the new uh, code. Um, any it's like any new shows that are scheduled? Uh, we've got a show starting on Thursday, October 6th. Oh, OK. That's still we're still a way off. Yeah. yeah. Thursday Night Throwdown, it's going to be Rodney Fike and Sean Foray. They, it's a draw stream where they occasionally do interviews, talk comics, pop culture, whatever. It's it's it's, it's fun. It's going to be right. a fun thing to do. And uh, don't forget this blasphemous bullshit we have that, uh, okay. So now banned from Facebook. Now banned, yes, already banned from Facebook. <laughs> yes. Doing outstanding on views is join Chad, Kit, and Blake. Uh, well, and sometimes Blake for shots with comics, uh, but do not, I repeat, do not right. send your books to these guys for reviews. Let or or if you do, it's out. at your own risk. And if you do, don't come crying to me when your feelings are butt hurt because I just you know, don't have Look, there's way too much vodka and coffee on way that show. Vodka, and, uh, yeah, so it's like, yes, they will review books, but let, yes, but, oh. but send them your books at your own risk. And also, if gay shit bothers you, 
don't watch it and don't and certainly don't message me complaining because no i'm not gonna edit out gay shit for somebody's discomfort right yeah it's like look it's like these are just these are just books seriously that that's they what i was told. reviewing that they're that they're buying themselves that they're reviewing um we have you know it's like and it's whatever it is you know it's like you know, like, like, look, you know what? Watch the show at your own risk. That, that's pretty, like, you know, the entire show is at your own risk. Some, some fool had the audacity to email me and to ask me if I was going to edit the, the end of the show. No, out. sorry. No, no we no. are not. No, we are, we are ribbed for your discomfort. <laughs> spike. Spike. <laughs> Ribbed is hot. Spike is discomfort. Oh, okay. Either one. <laughs> Either one. Burn. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah. So there, so there we have. Yes, they yes, are. They, they really are. are. They yes. are. I you know what? I think that's that's a more accurate thing. They they right. are it's a roasting show. You know, so like you, you either have to like, you have to watch it with the good humor that comes with a roasting show. But again, like I said, everything is at your own risk, you know, because uh, I certainly am going to send shit to them. So. <laughs> look, 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 Chad said, Chad said, do you think Daphne would let us review her book? I said, you better Absolutely stay not. away from her. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Away from her. I'm I'm good humored, but don't push my luck. <laughs> oh, I'm not pushing my luck. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Oh my goodness. So uh so yeah, so here we are. I think we're finally officially at the end of the time. We we're are at the top of the hour. I just want to thank everybody in the chat for joining us. Uh, thank you so much, you know, for keeping it uh, lively in the chat as always. Um, I'd like to thank the nine people right now who are watching us uh, from regions beyond. You know, it's like, like I said, it's like, I know you have your reasons for watching outside of YouTube. That's fine. You know, it's like, look, as long as we're all having a good time, that's what matters. Um, Do you know so who else needs to be thanked? Who? The people who watch us on the replays. Oh, like we love you guys. We we yeah. love you whether you catch us live or you catch us later. Either way, keep doing what you're doing because our right. numbers are looking excellent. Yeah, no, thank you so much for that. I mean, it's like, look, you know, we, we were just two dopey people who decided we were going to continue doing vlogging. And uh, um, we're just glad that you enjoy what we put you enjoy what we're doing so thank you so much i mean you know what with the kickstarters with the vlogs with everything thank thank you everybody for uh spending this time with us for supporting us um for for watching us for you know it's just for everything just for being just for being you you know <laughs> well speaking of gay shit well you know so any uh any last words nita before oh, uh yeah and, and yeah, no, that's yeah, that's exactly how I feel. That every campaign does this to me, you know. So, if you want to learn more about uh, my main portfolio site, uh, well, if you want to learn more about me, you go to my main portfolio site. You see, I'm already discombobulated. Uh, you can head on over to my main portfolio site at egoworks.com, e g o w r k s. You can find links to all of my galleries and social media sites. But I post mostly to Facebook. <laughs> If you are into seeing sketches and current work in progress updates and YouTubes, uh, and, and you can go to YouTube where you can see all my videos on how I make my stuff on my channel at Daphne Lage Art, L-A-G-E Art, which also simulcasts through the uh, region, uh, well, through the Indie Comics Network. Oh, oh my goodness. Nita, tell the people where they can find you. <laughs> Always YouTube, Patrick. Yeah, yeah, and you can find me on YouTube, on any comics network. You can find me anywhere. There's the Rage and Two banner. You can find me on Facebook as Nita Lanning uh, in multiple places right now because there was an extreme account screw up. I don't want to talk about that right now. It's going to be straightened out later. Just, right. yeah, just it's, you know, it's, you know, yeah, yeah it's. Google it's technical back end stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's complicated. So, so yeah, so again, thank you everybody. And uh yeah, and and you know, yeah, I'm going to take a nap after this. I swear, actually no, I can't take a nap. I I got actually, you know, got stuff to do. So, but you know, whatever. It's like I said, I'm going to probably need the weekend to recover and then by Monday I have to start doing all the numbers um to start ordering 
uh, everything for the because I want to be able in two weeks, I want to be able to be receiving books so that yes. I can start putting everything together and sending them out. So, ah, so yeah, so there we go. Thank you, everybody. So, from the words of the ancients, what is it? Eat your food. Well, yeah, eat your Wait, food. moisturize. Yeah, um, eat your food. Whatever. Moisturize. Mind your business. <laughs> And do the work because when you actually do the work, boy, does it pay dividends. I mean, really, it's like, no, it's like when you actually do the work, you never have to fake your accomplishments. And you know what? Why would you want to fake this? Why would you want to fake this? Why would you want to fake being successful on Kickstarter when you can just do the actually do it and, and really, really fake? feel the benefit of it. Like you really do feel it here that this, I did that. We did that. We all did this. We did this together, people. You know, why would you want to fake that? Really? So don't fake that. Do the work. It's worth every minute. Trust me. Trust me on that. You ready to go? I'm ready to go, lady. <laughs> And don't fake orgasms either because then they'll think that this is exactly. no, no, for real. Never, uh, no, don't fake no. anything, really. Don't fake don't anything. anything, you know. But yeah, so we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>